What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our Washington football team franchise. It is at the deadline just about with week nine going against the Packers. We are looking to sign someone or trade for someone as right now, even though we're, you know, we're pretty solid. We're six and one. There are definitely some problems on the team, and I don't know how, but whenever we're like scoring a decent bit of points, the other team scores a decent bit of points. We have basically nothing for the run D, and I don't think it's the D line. I, you know, we had our call-ins from the viewers, and you know, they they said you pick up a damn D line or we'll shank your wife. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have a wife, but please don't. Anyways. Uh, we can't replace linebackers. Reuben Foster and Luke Green are like the best you're going to get. D-line, I mean, I'm looking across and I don't see any, like, I just, like, Bush could be replaced, right? Like, definitely be replaced. I don't see anyone in the, oh my god, he really can be replaced. But a 79 block shed is not terrible. He's got some good traits as well. But looking across, like, the trade block and who would be willing to trade players, there really isn't going to be a massive upgrade for DT, so... Really, I'm thinking maybe corner, because obviously if you have better coverage, you're able to uh, obviously, you know, commit more to the ground. We don't have our own first round pick. Fulton has not played for the Titans. So I'm kind of like, hey, maybe, maybe Fulton for a third, potentially, and they take it. So pick 93 projected, which could be our own, for Mr. Christian Fulton who will now be uh, competing with Grant Haley at the cornerback position, which is, uh, he's not there. Which, which you know, he's Grant Haley's played all right, but he's been burned in the past as well, and Fulton obviously has way more potential, as you can see right here. Uh, 74 overall already, 23 years old. Grant Haley, 26 years old. Coverage ratings... A lot better in zone for Fulton. Not much worse in man. Play Rex a little bit better for, for Haley. A little bit better in awareness as well. Uh, change of direction for Grant Haley is a lot higher. But speed and Excel are similar. And, of course, Fulton is a lot taller. Of course, catching kind of sucks for both of them. Uh, hitting pursuit is about the same. Block shed a little bit better for uh, Haley. Jumping a little bit better for Fulton. You know, very similar players. It's just that uh, Grant Haley is a little more twitchy. But... That is completely fine with me. Might be able to trade uh, or release some other players here. The question is who? That's that's it, just who. It's not much, but we give Bryce Love and Moreland to the Buccaneers for their fourth round pick. And that's pretty much going to conclude the trade deadline. Not going to be able to do much. It just isn't any big name. To well, maybe we try. Let's, let's look around and see if we can get a big, big name. All right, we may have overpaid, but Grant Haley, pick 81 and pick 61 for Mr. Barmore from the Niners. They obviously have lots of talent. I don't know why they they might already be not using Barmore because they have Eric Armstead, D Ford, Nick Bosa, John Nix, who's a superstar, and then Kinlaw, who's a superstar. And then this guy, they've got a lot of talent on the D-line. I, I don't know why they didn't trade him sooner. I don't, I don't get it, but... We got ourselves a D-lineman. Hopefully, this makes us better. Of course, he's going to drop an overall when we put him at right end, but still. Got two Christians today. Religion. But that does also mean we can trade Bush off. The Bills are interested, so we give them Bush and 125 for 67. A little bit of a risk, because if they start winning, we start losing. We basically got rid of a really talented uh, D-lineman for... Well, basically nothing. But regardless, we have done enough to move on to week nine. Any breakouts? He's crazy if a bar more would have been. But of course, the five and two Green Bay Packers. The Cowboys, I can't tell if they kept winning or not. I don't remember what the Eagles did, but it's still a very close division, even at six and one now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, set the lineup and get into this potential nightmare. All right, so they want us to talk about Mr. Jair Alexander. Is Aaron Rodgers still around here? I'm kind of kind of interested to see Jair Alexander throw one or fewer picks. I mean, okay, that's not completely not manageable. I don't know if those are words here, but have we looked at negotiations yet? Chase Rulier, is he starting on our team still? I feel like I haven't seen anything about him. Ricky Young, oh, that's, I was looking at this guy. I was like, why is he still on our team? I looked at how bad he is. Okay, it's because he's hidden. Fair enough. Uh, Josh Oliver probably will be let go. He does have a lot of potential still, but 
eh, I think we kind of just wasted him. And then Chase, we'll see. As far as our upgrades go, Mr. Deron Payne has an upgrade. We kind of need run blocking stuff, but I feel like our pass rush is even worse than our freaking run defense, which is crazy to say. But plus two to power move. Okay, fair enough. And then Reggie Carter. We probably need to start working on like slot stuff because that's you know kind of the role we want him to play. No upgrade in overall either. And he gets eh, kind of iffy. There's also another special matchup because this is the team that has Terry McLaurin. So this is going to be a tough team to play defense against. Of course, they're rocking special uniforms. We kind of change our uniforms up a little bit. I think it looks pretty fresh. Obviously, they you know wouldn't wear the white bottoms, but I think it looks really good. I think it's a great combination. And they do still have Rodgers. I don't know why, unless he's not an X-Factor anymore, why they wouldn't bring him up. They still have Aaron Jones. Jesus, how many players? How do they afford everyone? Come on, dude. <laughs> like, how do they afford all these players? Ridiculous. Man, They. I mean, how much money do they have? I wouldn't be able to tell you. But, of course, a daytime game, but a little bit of cloud coverage. I mean, it would be cool if they had dynamic weather and it would start, like, raining or something. But it is what it is. Of course, they had a different alternate set, but... Uh, they decided to go elsewhere because it kind of looked like ours. So we were like, eh, you know, wear a different helmet and whatnot. Of course, Justin Ross last week was decent. Was definitely decent. Had a really big long pass and then, you know, worked his way throughout the defense in different areas. And, man, I don't know how you stop this Packers team. I don't know how they're 5-2. and two. They should be 7-0. and oh. They really should be. We're going to get the ball first as well. I mean, you look at their team. Their offense on paper just looks nuts. We've seen the damage Devontae can do with pretty much no one around him. Now we get to see what the damage he can do with Terry McLaurin, our old beast, could do with him. Of course, Mr. Campbell, the guy that, honestly, if uh, if McLaurin would have saw him coming, maybe he would have stuck around. Maybe he would have stuck around. But, of course, we still have our issues, and, uh, you know, it's not perfect around here, but... It's about as good as you could have expected, I'll tell you that. So let's start with a run right out the gate. Mr. Hubbard and try to cut it left, could not. Hubbard takes it to the 27-yard line, a little power running. Of course, the Packers still probably not known to defend the run, as you can tell with the, the amount of support they put on their offense. Probably not a whole lot of uh, funds for the defense. I was about to say they're not going to cover that, and they will not. Preston Smith out wide. Looks like he lost a little bit of weight. Good for him. He actually looks uh, pretty athletic there. Uh, Ross probably going to get covered this time. We're going to bring Sims down the field because Jair has that locked up. We're going to get... We're going to try to get it to Julian Kelly. Jesus! Of course, this could be a pass to the fullback. And it will be. Get the block, Sims. Damn it. Too busy watching the play. Gain six, though, so manageable third down. Little in-cut card. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Anytime somebody's near Jair, it's just going to be a busted play. Let's get Ross inside so we have more of a look to that outside because usually that's our last look. And we don't like it. And we, yeah, there's not going to be anything to go for there. Really good coverage, and this is going to be a punt. Rodgers, 2,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, five picks. Pretty good stuff. Considering I don't think they've had their bye week yet, have they? No, they have. But speaking of bye weeks, I've had too much of a bye week from streaming. So tonight, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash rompicare, we will be doing a stream. May even have Washington football team franchise as they throw. Is that Terry McLaurin wearing 50, 85? I guess it's not that bad, but yeah, you know, could have given them a better number. And also, if you're going to join the stream, maybe think about subscribing here. Don't, you know... It costs money to subscribe on Twitch. What a hit. Maybe do it for free here if you're new to the channel. We do a lot of franchise. That's about it. Enough selling of out. Oh, and a second channel video on PK or Plays tonight. Yes, I know. <laughs> Enough selling out as he sells out more. Speaking of more, Barmore won a matchup for his first game as a Washington football team. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And on third and one, this 2019 Rodgers throwing the ball away on fourth and one questionable decision there. I gotta force something. Taking a sack even is, you know, better than what he did do. And Patterson gotta admit, he's looking a little slow lately, even though he did just have a kick return touchdown. Looking a little slow there, but gets it to the 47. It's alright. 
Maybe the other teams are fast. Maybe every single player on every other team is just as fast as Patterson now. It has nothing to do with him losing speed. <laughs> Ross on the inside, and we were going to cut it left. Could not. We get taken down on the inside. Who, who is their linebacker? Is that Ty Summers? It is. That is weird. But hey, man. Go inside to Sim. That's a terribly thrown ball, but... It gets there, I suppose. Could have been worse. Looking at the positives for the day, I mean, we have a good shot to score, and they haven't scored. Got to like that. To the outside, and we maybe shouldn't have trusted the blocks as Hubbard's going to gain basically nothing. Tough to block all the way out there anyway, so maybe a little bit of an if from us. They're covering pretty well downfield, though, so maybe these deeper shots aren't what we should be looking for. Inside, and that is an interesting one. What is this going to be called? Please don't be a hold. Personal foul, roughing the quarterback. This is going to give us the ball back. Wow, Zadarius, I believe. It's a legitimate call, though, and it happened before. Actually, I don't know if it matters if it happens before the uh, pick or not. This is obviously a late hit. I mean, he extends and everything 100%. Got lucky there. That was a lucky one. So we got to make it count. What's new? Green Bay and Washington uh, roughing the passer penalties, huh? Could have maybe had the tight end. But honestly, I just don't trust anything over the middle at this point. Like, that's over the middle technically. But you know what I mean. Deep over the middle. Coverage is scary. I don't like it. D-line, we got to run to the left side every time pretty much. Ooh, Hubbard fighting. Wow. All the way to the three. Kenny Clark came in late. Pretty much pushing us forward at that point. And so this is a tough one. It's a tough read, actually. And that's a great throw. Carter catches it. Perfect throw. It almost looked like Carter wasn't ready. Nice. Of course, we don't know when they're going to look to run. But I have a good idea that it could be now. It's not. We are done for. Could have been a lot worse, though. Oh, Jesus. Sternberger with some moves. Didn't expect him, of all players, to make a play. Allen trying to push through. O-line has given us some troubles, though, and there goes Devontae. Good help on the play by Mr. Fulton. Hood against Devontae. That's not good. We got to follow through. Even though, oh, huge hit by Neal. Even though it looked like they were going to hand it off to Jones, if they end up handing that over to the wide receiver, we are done for. It's the only thing that sucks about man coverage. And to the outside, Devontae. Burning Hood there. There's really no winning, though. I feel like Hood has to play Devontae, and I feel like Darby has to play McLaurin. I mean, there's really not much more to it. They don't hand it off. Man, these uh, these motion plays are kind of crushing us. They only gained two, though, on the ground. The traditional runs haven't worked super well for him, though. Gotta like that. And outside... Hood, you got to knock that away. Devontae's playing well, but you're not too far off, man. Got tight ends on tight ends. Luke Green gets bumped. That's why you run that bunch set. Only gains four, though. Runs through the cameraman as well. What a rude person. And there's no one on that left side. Devontae's covered outside. Not only does he catch it, but it was going to be called pass interference by Darby anyways. Oh, my. Or not, maybe not. It was roughing the passer. Either way, wow. Touchdown, Green Bay. What a play. Low or not, they kick it away from uh, from Patterson. So say what you want. Get Hubbard on the other side. Or there, one of the two. And that's wide open. Is he going to get that? And he does. Carter is gone. Huge game for Carter. Two touchdowns. And probably close to 100 yards already. That's massive, because honestly, throughout this game so far, I just felt like there was going to be no opportunity for anything deep. It's going to be all short plays, but obviously that was a huge one. And uh-oh, Fuller get in there and fighting forward for the first. Start of the second quarter is going to be... Ooh, did Aaron Jones get hurt? Actually, no, it's it's only like six games in. Six, seven? Are they five and two? So seven games in? It's not great numbers, but... They've been hurt for a little bit to the outside. And Hood with the tackle. But once again, another first down. You're going to come with a blitz here. Reuben Foster going to try to get in there as well. And the defense holds up. 
They actually lose a yard on the play. No, they gained one, really? Wait, up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought they were past the 50. Why did I think that? Clearly not. Clearly not. Young chasing Rodgers down. Uh, close there. We got called for two already. It could have been another one, to be honest with you. It's okay. It's okay. We got away with one a little bit there. It's all right. As long as you get away with it, no one cares. And the tight end is open. Oh, he has him. Doesn't take it, though. And Sternberger gets about four yards. Nothing big considering how much time they had. And it is now fourth down. Here, pitch to the right. I mean, they got a lot of talent. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off, but we'll try it. And not bad. We maybe should have cut it in right there when the tight end was blocking. But, you know, we got a few. Few memories from the place. We gained nothing on the yardage wise. <laughs> never, never mind. Double drag look. And the tight end is open and he misses him. We had Ross even more open, but you take the first down when it's given to you, especially when you know your quarterback's going to pull that kind of stunt. Come on, Campbell. Jay McLaurin on the other side. He's like, they're winning, but the quarterback plays a little iffy. I don't know. And there's no one on the screen. And neither is our blockers. Oh my. We had to go far away. That's where the ball took us. Oh, that sucks. To the outside. Devontae is naked. It's a little overthrown, but he gets it to him. Put a little more effort into that, Rodgers. Obviously, he gets it anyways, but still. Green Bay challenges. Nice. I'm going to be honest, we're an ethical team here. We don't think he caught it. <laughs> and ironically, it looks like they're actually about to challenge themselves out of a first down. That left foot. Was a close one. We bring in the whole team here. And there's Neil. What a filtration. It almost, sounded like, it almost sounded like I was really pumped about water filtration. Water filtration. All right, Hood. Hood's like, I don't have to play against Devontae. Don't worry about me. I'm happy again. And another run inside. Fuller gets beat up. Darby with the aggressive tackle gets it done. Nice. I mean, our run defense has definitely been better today. Not a question uh, about it at all. Screen pass. And he just has to throw that away. We read that perfectly. The whole team was in on that. Good job, boys. Love it. All right, the punt is pretty deep. Definitely a chance to return, though. And Cordero, does he sell the speed? He does. Chase down, punt. Oh, push down is J.K. Scott, the punter, to the 28-yard line. Nice little return. A lot of effort to gain all those yards, but it was worth it. Gained an extra at least 8 to 10. Wouldn't have got that if he would have just ran straight up. I'm going to take Carter again, who's having a massive day. Just uses that speed. Gains about 20. They ran the blitz, and it was picked up almost perfectly, which, once again, is a shocker. I feel like you blitz us, and it hurts you more than just, you know, bringing the regular front. And once again... Hubbard with pretty much no support almost actually finds a lane there. Of course, haven't really run the ball that much this game. It's probably the worst time to run it, but we might have a little room to that left side. And we do. And there goes Hubbard, gets popped, but gains a massive one to the 36. We get it off. We're going to take that. We're going to take that. And he holds on. What a throw. That is all throw there. I mean, obviously a really good route by uh, Ross to get out in front of him, but... That is an amazing throw. Perfect. Look at this throw, man. Right on the money. He was debating on going possession. That's how much room he had on that. Of course, Kadar Hallman, who's fast, but not the greatest receivers. Uh, corners, anyways. 2.6 seconds times a throw. Look at the ball. The placement was perfect, man. Really couldn't ask for anything better, and that's just perfect. All right, Green Bay with pretty much no answer at all. Uh, we're in man coverage here. Okay, they ran it anyways, but... Uh, if they would have turned that into a pass and, like, Terry McLaurin would have ran out, that would have been uh, a big play. Sweat really doesn't get much love. Once again, thankfully they're running the ball because good job, Darby. I mean, ironically, if Darby wasn't there, it would have been. I think it was Darby's coverage. Is Darby broken? That's actually, damn it, Deron Payne. Oh, he's got a shot. Neil gets burned, and it's Terry McLaurin. And he misses the tackle. No. Our former receiver is crushing us. 
Ironically enough, the guy we kind of used to replace him, kind of, Carter, is having himself a good game. Where is everyone over there? Darby, once again, I believe. Just looked like he didn't even cover deep. Oh, there goes Cordero. Trying to get as much as he can to the 30. Once again, all the effort in the world just to gain a minimal extra yardage, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, that's a really interesting one. The route was A. To, make, to give the ball to the running back instead of throw the ball is A. How the hell do I pull that off? Who are you? And there's a perfect dime. It's, it's really strange to like watch this game uh, and really you think about it and Campbell really has a throwing style very similar to Mr. Rogers. Very like kind of nonchalant flick of the wrist style. We're just going to use that straight line against uh, Kadar over there again. And he burns him, but he has the safety help. In trouble and nonchalant. Costs him. Wide open. Carter. Huge gainer. Again. Stick and nod. Double move on the inside. Ross looks like, uh, you know, he might have the one-on-one. -on -one. However, they're backing off a little bit more. Carter stops running. Oh, my Lord. Carter, please. We had the tight end on the inside, but it was such a deep throw that it was hard to kind of judge if the safety was going to be able to make a play on it. Wasn't worth the risk. Especially when you've got Mr. Hubbard, who takes it all the way down the sideline, pushes his way out of bounds to the 15. The man is just so aware of everything. I mean, he makes an in-cut juke and gets back out, gaining the extra yards and not risking anything. This is probably a bad play, but we'll take it what we can get. And he's getting pushed backwards, pushing those legs again the opposite direction of where, his fa where he's facing, which is insane. Maybe I do, and Ross holds on. We will call a timeout. Got a bunch of receivers in here. Preston on Ross. That's not the worst look for them. And, wow, really good coverage by Preston. He got up there. I thought it was worth the risk. Why not? It comes down how to the inside plays. And, wow, Jair, that is insane coverage. Their coverage looks really good, unless we take a shot to Ross. But that linebacker, whoever's on the inside, could make a play. I feel comfortable with this. Oh, Jesus. Flag. Helmet to helmet. Holding. Thought maybe it was a helmet to helmet call there. Yeah, Dawkins with the hold. Kind of helps them. Well, they would have called the timeout if they really wanted the ball anyway. So we are up by 10 at halftime. Really good red zone defense by them. Looking at the uh, the game, definitely can see why we're winning. The yardage is better and do we get the ball at half? I think I think not. I think they do. I'm going to start off with a blitz. I know they're down by 10, but there is m so much time in the game. I feel like this is going to be a run. It will not be. But we're in pretty good coverage. Yeah, we're in good coverage all the way across the board. They just need a tight end. They're set. To the outside. Yep, and there goes Hall for three. Inside chase. Gets bumped, though. And speaking of Hall, he's still going. Get up there, Neil. I want to see some effort. I don't care if he's stumbling. You never know when he's going to recover. Come on. Got to be a run. Man, those motions are tough. Huge pop by Neil. One of these times, man. If we were playing against a team that runs traditionally, we would be fine. But all these motion plays are tough for us to read. You know, if we leave the uh, wide receiver, they're gone. You know, I'd rather give up a seven-yard rush up the middle than like a 30-yarder to the outside. Here it is again. This one's going to be a straight-up handoff, though. And we missed the tackle, but Ruben recovers. Gain of only three. Once again, we're playing pretty well against the Packers to give up under four yards per carry is really solid. It's really solid stuff. And Chase is getting burned. Underneath again, Hall gets popped, but... A manageable third down coming up, and if not, they do have probably a good chance at a field goal. They gotta put Fuller back here. No, it doesn't even matter. That line absolutely. There goes Neil with the hit. Their offensive line absolutely crushed us. Aaron Jones eats another hit stick from Neil, and it finally comes loose. Ooh, they are ready though. And Hubbard fights forward for a gain of four. Nice, nice. Both teams kind of struggling on the ground today, which I'll take that trade off because we're not, you know. We like, I mean, we're okay at running the ball, but obviously passing is where we're good. 
Maybe had a little look to Kelly, but, you know, wasn't the easiest lane to take. Get a shot to Ross. Anyone covering Ross usually gets burned, so we'll be looking at that first and foremost. And that's just, yeah, a little bit of pressure, and more importantly, that's a tough throw to make. We kind of got ourselves in trouble, though. We should have been a little more confident in the pocket. And we try to get him. Fuller misses. Damn, son. And we missed. Oh, my. Really good tackle there by Montez. They were still running the ball pretty hard here, considering, but it's working, so why not? Chase Young. And he gets blocked. Devontae is only going to gain about three on that play. They're being bringing a massive blitz here. We are going to be in some massive trouble if they throw anything across the middle. But if it's a run, we'll have it covered. And they're just too predictable. Fourth and three. Give us our ball. Try to be patient, and we get through. Nice. Using that patience with Hubbard, that was filthy. Double move play. Hmm. This is tough, but we'll go for it. And we just don't have any time on that, the play action. Kelly turns into a pretty good gainer, though. Fights forward to the 49. Nice. Manageable third down. Let's go for it. Gibson. And yes, Gibson. Kenny Clark fumble, uh, stumbles over his own guys. And, of course, we free it up for the gainer. You know, for that play action look. Why not? It's because we don't get a block. We're just going to run. Campbell fights for for the first. Look at him reach. Look at him go. Gonna go with the play action again. This time we should have a little bit better at blocking, hopefully. Liar. Perfect throw, considering. Like, you know, gets it out of there. Good stuff. And it's yelled liar to myself, by the way. <laughs> nice. Sims really hasn't been super open this game. Maybe had a look. Oh, my Lord. That should have been pick sixth. Well, maybe not six. We have the... The quarterback there, but oh my. That was a debatable one. Throw over to Hubbard. And they are all over it. Hubbard! Oh, Zedarius with the recovery. Jair got his ankles snapped. Damn, good recovery. Of course, the field goal doesn't help us insanely much, but it inches us closer to... Wow. We just got iced by the freaking end of the quarter. That's not good. We could miss this damn thing now, especially with the change of wind. Look, I kid you not. I kid you not. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> all right, I kid you not. I didn't do anything different. Anything different at all. All right, they're at around midfield already. Let's see if they're going to run the ball again. There goes Allen pushing forward, but come on, Neil. Oh, there's something fun about it. Neil, keep doing it, especially against our old players. Gotta love it, even though they did nothing wrong. Well, actually, they kind of demanded a trade. Allen! Oh, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, okay. Quickly becoming uh, the dirtiest team in the league. Get over there. Oh, my, what is that? Good dive by Fulton. Love the effort this game. Giving up a little bit, but I like the effort today. Oh, we just got burned, though, speaking of. Tries to get a strip, can't. No, you know, know the situation. You got plenty of players in front of you. The strip there is a good decision. 100%. But they've been throwing hard. Oh, get over there, Darby. And what a play! Jonathan Allen. We blitzing hard here. We coming for it. Who dropped back last second. Over the middle. And really good D by Darby. Finally, somebody covering Terry McLaurin. It's got to be four down territory, so if you're them... You really do think about just running the ball here. And Jonathan Allen hits him, and that's a field goal. Ball's gone. Jonathan Allen just blew through that. Nice. All right, Chase, your turn. He got the running back blocking. He's got all the time in the world. Takes the shot. And I thought that was going to be caught. It really should have been. Foster with the deflection. Denied. I don't know. Missed by Hood. Fulton is in there, knocks it out. What a play. Look at that thing. Oh, man, that's the play of the game. And it goes to our new player. There's literally nothing better than that. Your new player comes in with a clutch play like that. Against an old player on the team as well. Oh, look at Hubbard, man. Finding his, finding his way through that pile. That's tough. Stretch play, they kind of look like they're bunched up too much. 
And Gibson's going to get nothing. Yeah, our guys had a little bit of a tough time covering Zedarius on that one. Got a quick look play. Feel like they're going to be coming with the house. And they are. And Sims. Can he get there? He does. Try to dive for it. He kind of just gave himself up over the line. Not a bad decision either, in fairness. But still, we should have taken Sims. Yeah, we got the blocks. Hubbard, nice little spin. I think he would have had the first anyways, but you never know. He might have caught us. Gibson on the stretch. I think we're actually going to run it back right. Kind of like a misdirection play. And Gibson's fighting, but he's not going to gain much. Looking for quick passes only. Maybe not. Kelly is wide open. And he powers through. Slips through Jair as well. To be fair, they probably are stripping, but still. Offense looking pretty good. Looks like they're going to be able to close this thing out. Ooh, really good play off the edge by Preston. Because honestly, offense wasn't great in this game. I don't want to just like sit down and die here. So, it's good Beal. This is going to be a little bit of a rough one. That's a bad decision. Good play by Kelly to knock that out. Woo! We got to relax out here. Got too fancy there. Kind of costed us. Get in there, Carter. Oh, no. Matt Gay on the field. That was a bit of a tough one. From range, there is some win, though. That's the perfect kick. They're going to be down by 16, but it will be still manageable. You know, 16 points. You can still get to overtime. It's, it's really unlikely, but you never know. Chase Young. Ooh. Why is Sternberger constantly doing that? They need a new tight end. That man is stupid. <laughs> I was going to think of something else. Nope, just straight up stupid. Just call him stupid. And that's another burn job. Fulton, I mean, he's, he's getting burned a little bit in man coverage, but, you know, we're playing off a little bit. People are like, no, he, he wasn't. He was right on him, and he just failed. Oh, Lord. And he's just going to take it. Hood jumps the thing for a pick, but obviously out of bounds. Got to like the effort there. Two minute warning. Ugh. And comeback route. Right foot. Terry McLaurin has been filthy. Ruben Foster could call game here. Kind of feeling it. Good spin. Nobody on Terry again. Go with the blitz. Drop back the DT. Rogers buying time. We miss him. Get over there, someone. And Rogers slips out. That could have been a penalty, too. Oh, my. Yeah, we took the ball away a few times, forced field goals and whatnot near this kind of situation. So could have been a lot closer if not. And he just throws it pretty much away. I think he was looking for the back of the end zone there and uh, got picked up last second. Chase Young forcing it, and there's another throw away. Damn, Chase. Chase is crushing it, man. Let's see Duran Payne. Oh, he's locked. Absolutely locked to the outside. They're going to get closer. Where's Chase Young? Wait, don't tell me he had coverage. And Rodgers finds his man. Emmanuel Hall for the touchdown. Clutch up. Now they need the two-point to keep the game alive. What are they going to run? I don't believe they're going to run the ball. They haven't trusted the run all day. No, they won't. And I, I went back there. Oh, Devontae looked like he was going to be open on the slant, and then I went back to the tight end. I should have known that was coming. He sat there. I just thought he like would have progressed to a different route, and he did, but then he came back because it's so easy to see. They don't get the onside kick. Carter trying to break tackles. Go down, please. You're tiny. Just don't fumble. That could already be game. Oh, no. Somebody held at the last second. Are you serious? Game is almost ice, and they... Call it back on a hold. Shocker. <laughs> Try to go left. Hubbard fighting. Getting swarmed, of course. Timeout, Green Bay. Stretch play to the right. Mr. Gibson. Gibson not really going to gain much here. I mean, I think they're covering that. I think we'll go read option. Get that block. Oh, Campbell tries. Get some more clock off there, at least. And he doesn't fumble. If he gets that block, Campbell's gone. Like, give me a line driver because we just want to get this out of here and make sure we don't get you know in trouble. And it's a pretty good one down to the 10. 
Really good punt. Can't really ask for much more. Gets the ball out quick, so there's no block. And of course, uh, still gets it to the 10. Not bad. Is that Reuben Foster? That's not a good look. Good step up, even though Sternberg is going to get a ton of yards there. Don't know why he doesn't go out of bounds. And leave it to Troy Apke to get injured. Of all the players to get injured, he better legitimately be hurt. And they're going to go over the middle anyway, so it doesn't matter. And another injury. Don't don't press. Don't press. What the hell are we doing here? Oh, it's going to be Hail Mary as well. What the hell is going on? Yo, he got that far, though. There's no penalties. Are you serious? He caught the thing. Terry McLaurin caught the freaking Hail Mary, but they didn't have enough time. Oh my lord. Thankfully the clock went away because it would <laughs> another freaking injury. <laughs> Could you imagine? They, what are they like punching our guys in the heads or something, knocking them out? Smart tactic, but like, <laughs> holy crap. He caught it. Off the deflection. Yo, think about all the different things that happened in that game that, you know, we would have lost by if it didn't happen. You know, Fulton knocking that ball out on uh, Emmanuel Hall and so many other different things. Crazy, crazy game. Defense was pretty solid, though. Can't lie. Defense was very good, considering how good that offense is. Might even be the best offense in the entire league. Uh, as far as passer rating, great gunslinger battle. Both of them went at it. Rushing. Hubbard was solid. Jones was okay. Gibson was meh. Campbell was meh. Rodgers had an 18-yarder. Uh, Emmanuel Hall had a lot of yards uh, and catches. Terry McLaurin with two touchdowns, 181. Devontae, they went off on us. They really did. Carter had a really good game for us, though. You know, we kind of spread the ball around a little bit more than they did. As far as defense, no sacks, but all over them today. No picks, of course. Matt Gay was perfect. Kick return, punt return was really good for Patterson. It was just a clean game that we won. Of course, let's take a look at this thing again. Why not? And where is it Terry that went up? Terry went up for it and then gets pushed in the back. It deflects off his back. He somehow tracks it and just, I don't even know, dude. Insane. All right, let's talk about the X Factor thing. Great game in the week. Coach is always a little terrifying. Playing guys like Eric Sanders. It was. It was actually really tough. And those were definitely all words that I spoke. You guys probably understood every single one of them. Going against another NFC North team next week in the Minnesota Vikings. Of course, we're 7-1 now looking good. And Campbell is really starting to light a fire. Of course, he's missing some throws. Still really big ones in fairness, but... He's still doing really well, and he's hitting some big throws that I wouldn't expect him or many others to make. So it's kind of a 50-50 trade-off. You don't know what you're going to get, but for the most part, it's been on the good side. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome Picare, second channel, Picare Plays, and then stream at twitch.tv slash Picare at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time this time. I promise you these things. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video, but until next video... 